Hey guys, and welcome. In this video, we're gonna dive into list cleaning. Now, list cleaning is super, super boring, but it is absolutely crucial if you wanna maximize the ROI you're getting from email. And it's one of the things that we see brands and clients neglect the most. Now, I'm gonna share my screen here. I'm gonna dive into the exact list cleaning process that we use inside of our agency. Uh, and if you don't know who I am, my name is Derek Stroh. I'm the founder of Ascend Media, and we help seven and eight figure direct-to-consumer brands scale and increase profitability using email marketing and SMS. So we've seen hundreds and hundreds of accounts, and this is probably one of the things that most people miss. So let's dive in. Okay, so what is list cleaning? List cleaning is basically just cleaning and removing uh, unengaged and inactive profiles from your list. So in order to do this, you need to one, create that segment and figure out what an unengaged person actually is for you. And then two, you need to make sure those people are suppressed and you're not sending to them on a regular basis. I'd also recommend sending a sunset flow and a win back flow as well. If you haven't already, I'll go through how to set up the sunset flow in this video as well. But if you want a more detailed explanation of the sunset flow and win back flow, go check out those videos as well. Okay, so how often do we want to clean your list? Well, depending on the size of the list and how many people are frequently getting added into it, you want to make sure you're cleaning your list every three to six months. If you have the sunset flow and the win back flow already set up, this is going to help. So it's less pertinent that you do this, but you definitely still want to keep an eye on things. Beyond on that though, you also want to make sure that there's no issues with any flows or anything like that, that may be getting people into your system that are just not real human beings, like spam emails and such, right? So what you want to do is obviously do what I'm about to show you three to six, every three to six months. But beyond that, make sure you're monitoring your flows and make sure like if you see uh, open rate plummet from 70% to 40% for your welcome series, there's an issue there. And oftentimes if you didn't change anything, it's probably something to do with spam emails getting into your system. You don't want that. Keep an eye on that because this will not cover absolutely every possibility. So it's really, really important to note that just before we dive in. So why is this important? Well, it's important because in order to maintain strong list deliverability and strong domain deliverability, you need to make sure you're sending to people who are actually active. This will help you reduce unsubscribe rates. This will help you increase your open and click rates. It'll help you improve your sender reputation, which is absolutely crucial. Basically, Basically, email service providers or ESPs will use spam rates, unsubscribe rates, bounce rates, among other things to determine if your emails are classified as spam or if they should go to someone's inbox. If you have a ton of unengaged people on your list, i.e. people who are not opening, not clicking, if you have a bunch of bounces on your list, this is going to be an issue. ESPs are going to be like, mm, maybe they bought the list. Maybe they're doing something shady. These people clearly aren't interested. So we're going to send this email to spam. No bueno. Not what you want to do, right? So the other piece here that's really important that's kind of in line with uh, list health is also segmentation. So making sure you're speaking to the right people at the right time with the right message, essentially. So let's dive in here and figure out how to identify unengaged profiles. So I'll show you how to build this out directly on Klaviyo. And basically what we want to do here is figure out, I'm going to just edit this definition. So we call this the sunset unengaged segment. And basically these people have received an email at least, you know, we're going to call it 10, 15, 20 times overall time. And they've opened an email zero times in the last 180 days, and they've clicked an email zero times in the last 180 days. Now, what we often do is we'll change this depending on how many people are in this list. So if you have a very small amount of people in this list, then we'll typically just keep this. But if you have a very large amount of people in this list, what I'd recommend is actually changing this to match what you have below. So I would say in the last 180 days. Um, and then what you want to do is I'm just going to go back here. Oh, and the other piece here is they can receive email marketing. So the other thing you want to make sure here is that you're not over excluding people. And this number, when I said, you know, 10, 15, 20, it really depends on how unengaged people are and how many emails you're sending on a weekly or monthly basis. So if you're sending one email a day, for example, you need to increase this number, right? Because if you send an email a day, you're sending 30 emails a month. And if someone is on here for, and they've received 15 emails, that's only two weeks, right? But if you only send every month or every quarter, this number is going to be way, way, way too big. Okay. So how do we determine which number to use here? Well, it should not be so high as to include the lowest engaged profiles. Like if people are just not super engaged, it shouldn't include that, but it should exclude all those people who are really, really, really unengaged. The easiest way to determine this is just to clone the segment or change it directly in Klaviyo. So I'll show you exactly what this looks like here. So if I go in here, the easiest way is to go like, okay, I'm going to start with 10. 
so it's 250. I'm gonna go to you know five, and I'll show you how this changes. So what I'm looking at is this section up here where it says segmented profiles. So if I say five, there's 700 people, and what I'm gonna be looking for is where the drop occurs, where a dramatic drop occurs, and then that's what I'm gonna use as my sunset un unengaged. So that one, I mean, that's a pretty dramatic drop. Unfortunately, we've done some list cleaning with this client already, so it's not gonna be a huge, huge, huge number. Call it 600 to no 500 or so. Let's see seven. So 400, eight, 430, or 440, nine. And you're gonna continue to do this until you find where the biggest drop happens. So you can see like, there's not any huge, huge, huge drops here. So typically where, what we found with this client was that 15 was actually the sweet spot. So if you, for example, so if you go in and determine that if someone's received at least 10 emails over all time, and then they clicked or opened zero times in the last 90 or 180 days, and that segment is call it 10,000 people. And then you increase that number to 11. And then that goes down to like a thousand people. You definitely want to make sure that you're using the received 11 times versus 10 times. So that's kind of what you're looking for. It should be a much more dramatic drop than I just showed you. So these people should be added into your sunset flow. Basically, I'll show you how to set up the sunset flow in just a second. But if you've never done this before, you may actually want to go one step further and actually create a segment of people who have never engaged, right? So what we do often do, let me just pause and I'll share my screen again. So this is what we would do. We would actually go in and say, okay, what someone has done, they received the same uh, kind of context here it is at least 15. Uh, they've opened an email zero times over all time and clicked an email zero times over all time. So you'll see even with this client, that number changes slightly, right? And it only changes by about 60 or 100 people because we do consistent list cleaning. But it's really important to kind of look at that and say, okay, like if you're getting a huge, huge, huge number for that initial segment, try to reduce that a little bit more and then try to re-engage the people who are very, very unengaged. So that initial segment I, I showed you there. So beyond that, here's how you set up the sunset flow. So basically I'll show you this kind of template that we use. These are text only emails. So they're basically trying to navigate and trying to get under any sort of spam filters that, that uh, we might experience. I'd recommend running them through a spam checker like this. Just go, this is called, uh, it's called mail meteor spam checker. And then what you want to do is just run your sunset message through here to make sure it's not getting flagged for spam. So the first thing is when someone joins that unengaged segment that we just created, you wait a day and then you can exclude from campaigns. We're already excluding this segment from campaigns, so it's not really necessary. We send a time to say goodbye email and we wait seven days. And then we send the last email, which is basically an email saying like, hey, if you're not interested, like that's totally cool. We're just gonna go ahead and unsubscribe you. Sometimes you'll actually get responses from that. And if you do, great. If people are like, oh, what? Like, no, I'm confused. What, like I wanna get emails or whatever. Great, exactly what we wanted to achieve. Some people are gonna be confused by that, but as long as the overwhelming response is not negative, it's the achieving what you want it to, right? You'll then wait five days and you'll create a tag for unengaged equals true. So I'll show you how to create that as well, but your flow filters on this one should just be, they've opened and clicked an email zero times since starting this flow. Okay, so like I said, text only. Now we gotta go in and I'll show you how to create this unengaged equals true. So at the end of the sunset flow, you're, you basically wanna create a new property and that new property should be unengaged equals true. And this is what it should look like. So if you go in and you update a profile property, go into any individual and I'll show you, let me just pause again. Okay, so you can see here, this person has uh, unengaged equals true. And if you view this, you'll see the property is unengaged and then the value is true. So they're tagged with unengaged equals true. And then basically they're added into that segment. So they're added into this segment of uh, suppress these people, unengaged equals true. Show you um, kind of what I mean there. Basically, once someone's tagged by that, they're added into this segment. So again, we wanna do kind of like one final fail safe here in case they did open or click any of those emails and then what we want to do is basically make sure that the segment is for uh, unengaged is true boolean and then make sure that they can receive email marketing so we want basically anyone in here can still receive email marketing we're going to exclude this segment from any sort of campaign sends and then we're just going to go ahead and move on to the next step so the next step is just getting rid of these people we don't want them on the list we do not want to be sending to them uh, it's not going to do any good for you so many people focus on like the size of their list and at the end of the day it is not important whatsoever what 
what we need is engaged people. So what I'd recommend doing, there's two options here. You can either delete profiles, which will remove the data entirely, would not recommend this, or you can suppress the profiles, which will keep the data, but no emails will be sent to them. So suppressed profiles do not get billed and they also can become unsuppressed if they re-engage with something or if they go ahead and sign up through the sign up form or something like that, right? So how do we actually go ahead and suppress these people? It's pretty simple. Clavio made this hella easy now. All you need to do is I'm going to search for sunset. And actually, I'm going to search for the unengaged. So this one, you can see there's 103 people in here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this and I'm going to say suppress current members. It's going to give me an error message and I'm going to click bulk suppress. So now all of these people have been suppressed and this number because we have because we have the definition they can receive email marketing they will be that number should go to zero right now the final piece in list cleaning is cleaning bounces so this is really really important because email bounces also will trigger esps and basically it's going to increase your probability of landing in the spam folder so there's two types of bounces the hard bounce which is basically the email cannot be delivered because of something permanent i.e like a misspelling or a fake email clavio will automatically suppress those. So like you're in the clear and then soft bounces are basically the email cannot be delivered due to a temporary reason. Some something like the recipient's email inbox is full. The DNS records are, are messed up with the recipient's email. Clavio will auto suppress these people, but only after it soft bounces seven times. So I would recommend just early suppressing these people if they've bounced like four times and creating a segment that looks like this, right? So they've bounced email at least four times over all time or uh, bounced type equals soft and they can receive email marketing. This will just help you clean your list a little bit better. Keep that list clean. We don't want to be peppering people if their emails just keep bouncing. So those are kind of the main things. So if you do have any questions about list cleaning at all, feel free to hit me up. List cleaning is kind of like one of the bigger topics under segmentation and making sure we're getting to the right people at the right time with the right message. If you have not checked out that segmentation video, it is key and it is very, very important. Once you've done this, it's important to maintain that health and make sure that people are happy with what they're receiving from you. So hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, and if you do have an e-commerce brand doing over $50,000 a month in revenue, and you're looking for someone to help you with email marketing and SMS, feel free to click the link below uh, and apply to work with us now. Thanks so much and have a great day.